Hello guys, this is Dr. Bass, and um, I'm actually working on the uh, next bike project. And um, well, today I'm working on the uh, BMS, and I think I have a couple of things to show you about the installation and uh, the setup of this uh, great adaptive BMS. So let's take a look. You can see here, um, this is the uh, adaptive BMS. Well, with uh, uh, some wiring that I'm finalizing on it. So, um, well, usually when you get the uh, BMS, it's only these little boards, and you have uh, these uh, GST connectors. But for me, I'm not in uh, 4S configuration. I'm not in 6S configuration. Uh, I'm in uh, 22S, and uh, it's divided in uh, two blocks, one 14S and one 8S. So, um, well, I will show you uh, how it's installed on the bike. You can see I have two batteries, like I said in the previous video. I have the top battery, which is uh, 8S, and uh, the uh, bottom battery, which is located here, and it's a uh, 14S. So for each of these batteries that are connected in series, I have a uh, 8S connector and 14S connector. Uh, my goal is uh, to install the uh, BMS on the uh, cover plate here on the top of the bike because when it will be uh, uh, balancing I will I want to be able to see the uh, LED uh, on the top of the bike so uh, I want um, to avoid uh, opening the, uh, the cover uh, uh, the most as possible so um, I just want to uh, keep it closed so that's why I will install the BMS on the uh, bottom of this uh, cover. So I will show you how I will proceed that. So this is the uh, cover that goes on the top. I'll show you how. So this cover is installed like this with the screw here. So I want just when I will connect the uh, charger right here on this um, SB50 connector for the uh, adapter controller. I just want to have the uh, LED shown here. So, to achieve that, I will install that uh, board on the uh, bottom right here. So, uh, what I did is uh, to reinforce and protect these uh, little uh, surface mount uh, PCB. I've just used these um, aluminum anodized plate. Uh, these are trim for a uh, door uh, that you use normally uh, on these desks or something like that. I've just glued uh, two uh, together. You can see with the uh, DP420 uh, uh, epoxy. So uh, I've put um, two, um, uh, two strip of uh, double tape, uh, double side uh, adhesive tape to hold these board and I left a little um, uh, space here to be able to um, install all the wires. So I have actually, uh, it's uh, 22S, but I have one positive and one negative for each of these boards. So I don't have any common wires between these. Uh, I have one for the negative for this board and one for the positive of this board. So these are not divided. Uh, these are not linked together. But yeah, th these are linked, but um, uh, I mean that I have uh, I independently wired these. So um, usually you get one more of these. I just remove. So each of these six board here have a 4S except the last one which is a 2S. But I still install the wires for these uh, because in case of I go to 24S. So I have all the wires here. I install this uh, kind of protective uh, flexible um, tube and I also have the connectors here. So I have uh, added epoxy under it. I have added this uh, shrink tube and it's uh, completely sealed. I will install uh, uh, the electric grease here to protect from uh, moisture. And I have the connector that communicate with the uh, controller. So all that is pretty compact. I like that. And you see here, I've just um, used a photocopy of that to uh, drill the holes to let these little, I have four LED. Uh, one for each uh, cell per channel. So these are the little white dot here, here, 
here and here. So um, what I did is um, what, what I will do is uh, just drill a hole uh, through this uh, cover to be able to see all these little light on the top of the cover here. So this board will be installed this way, right here, but in this direction, just like that. So I'll have the wires that goes on the side here and that goes right here inside to connect this wire and this one. So this uh, flexible wire that I have on DBMS will just go here. So I hope it will work. Uh, all the connections on the BMS, I had to uh, <laughs> rework these uh, about uh, three times because I just uh, have offset the negative and the positive on some of these boards. Well, a lot of uh, <laughs> work and uh, rework, but now it's it's uh, fully working. And uh, I didn't forget to um, wire uh, because these boards normally are separate a little bit. So I have just cut the space that is normally you can see here there is a little um, extension for this board so these two last board have this space so I've cut it them use the Dremel to flatten this uh, flatten the side and I have uh, glued them so I had to relink these for the communication with the main board here so next thing for me is uh, to glue this board on the bottom of the cover and secure that and then I will uh, have the BMS fully installed and I hope it will work well. Next thing will be to um, uh, install the, the coil for the charging and to experiment various coil because this one is pretty big it's about uh, 15 uh, milli uh, micro Henry uh, inductance but and it's quite big I have four run of uh, four strand of these uh, about I will say it's a uh, 14 gauge problem is that it's eating a lot <laughs> I didn't need uh, the heat gun to shrink this shrink it's uh, shrink by itself with the heat <laughs> so I will have uh, to try different combination of these inductors I disassembled these um, 48 volt uh, 1200 watt uh, power supply uh, because uh, it, they are not working. I will use these uh, transformer to make different inductors And I will keep you update about that. So I hope you appreciate it and I will keep you in touch about this great project Thank you very much guys. Bye